everybody, and welcome back to our What Does This Have to Do with the Bible series. We have a new episode today for you that uh, we're going to be getting back to doing some uh, experiments. Last time we did something, um, it was rather fun. It was, we learned. How about that? A little explosive. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, this time, not so much explosive, even though we have something here. But I'm going to let Justin tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing. So Justin, man, take it away. All right, so welcome, like he said. We're going to be doing an experiment having to do with fire today. So that's why we have a little blowtorch right here. We have some different, uh, a little bit of a setup going on here. And uh, we actually have someone who's been helping us set this up, put together ingredients for us. And I'm gonna let him talk about it a little bit. This is Bruce. And is there anything else you'd like to tell us about yourself or? about the experiment we're about to do. Thank you, Justin. So my name is Bruce Simonson. I am a local high school uh, ag teacher. Ag is a little bit different science, however you still use it. So I can work with pretty much all the chemicals here on a daily basis, teaching them, things like that. So today we're gonna kind of go into talking about how different chemicals react differently to uh, open flames. Um, like any experiment, you have to make sure you're safe. We've got all our safety equipment. We got gloves on. We're in a well-ventilated room. Sort of. We, <laughs> we have fire extinguishers nearby. So, and that is the correct class. We have a class ABC extinguisher. We're using class A's and B's. So we are good with all of that. And then too, we have some people on standby in case anything does happen. Yes. So with any experiment, we have to do a control. So we have a popsicle stick. A very small popsicle stick. Um, when Bruce was getting this experiment together, I thought to myself the whole time, this couldn't hold any kind of popsicle I would eat. So <laughs> this is like the baby ones. Uh, Bruce also informed me that my gloves are flammable, but I'm still going to wear them when they're in open flame. So let's uh, wish me the best. So uh, Bruce, I guess going to get it started here. So what we're going to do is just show this as a control. And we're going to look at the color of the flame. So like most of the time with fire, especially wood fire, it's more of like a orangish yellow color and it'll burn pretty much the same color as this one. So thank you, Pastor Teddy, for that one. What we're going to do now, before this next part, we have different popsicle sticks soaked in different chemical solutions. And pretty much all of these solutions are a element that has been mixed with chlorine. So we have a couple of different examples. We have sodium chloride, we have potassium, potassium chloride, which is what we're going to use first. Mm -hmm. And these have been soaking in the solution overnight. They don't taste that great though. Yeah, please do not drink these. Do not eat these. <laughs> you, can do, you can do this at home, but you want to make sure that you know what you're doing or you have somebody that knows what they're doing around. Yeah. Again, we're working on fire, we're working with some chemicals that can be deadly. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we are safe. Always be safe, guys. We try to be as safe as possible. Um, and that's the reason that uh, we prepped a lot of this uh, the day before. Uh, yesterday, uh, Bruce came by and we prepped all these things. A lot of these things came in, um, looked like medicine bottles. They were different kind of powders. We added water to them so they could soak up stuff real well. And then we sat them in these, uh, set, sat the sticks in the liquid and let them soak for a while. So I'm going to pass Justin one. Justin, this is your stick. I'm going to take one. This is my stick. And if you're wondering what this little pan here is for, um, since we are in a building that has fire detectors or smoke detectors and stuff like that, we decided to add some water just to make it safe so we can put it out quicker and everything like that. I have no idea what color this is going to make. And quite frankly, I'm colorblind, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to know what color it is anyways. I'm going to guess purple. Okay. Not because I have any reason to, but just because I want to. You know what? It. We're going to play that game. <laughs> I'll go with orange. <laughs> Not like the orange we just saw, though. Like okay. a, a much brighter orange. So I've seen the answer, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> so. But we're wrong. <laughs> Make sure it catches on fire. So this one, when it does burn, it has like there. a, a yellow. orangish yellow. So this one doesn't burn a whole lot different color than the wood normally would. Okay. Um, so <laughs> this was a game. I'm winning. <laughs> One point to this guy. Yeah, yeah. So that was potassium chloride, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. potassium yeah. chloride. Yep. So, Pastor Eddie, what is our next one? Uh, sodium chloride. Is so, this is this the salt that we did? Sodium chloride is just table salt. So interesting. Any predictions on what salt would be? Uh, I'll say like just to go like completely opposite of what I, I'll just say gray. 
<laughs> like like a, like a grayish. Gray. Um, I'm going to go with a blue. I'm going to think that this is a bluer color. Okay. Or maybe natural. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. The coolest part about this is the flame from the, the torch. I guess them being soaked in water doesn't help that they don't burn. Even lighter orange. Yeah. Interesting. So again, we have more of more of an orange color. Some of these will be a little bit lighter shade. Some of these will have a lot more pronounced color. Um, so, all right. That's so to be expected. This next one we have lithium. So chloride. this is what a, your your phone batteries have in them: lithium or a Tesla battery or a Tesla battery. What we what we have mostly in in technology stuff right now is lithium. So, what are your predictions on this one? Um, red. <laughs> oh, come on, that's what I was going to say. Right, well, uh, we'll both go red then. Okay, both red, both red. I mean, actual red. Yeah. Honestly, man, the, like the... the, the uh, oh, uh, my. That is fascinating. That is super red. So it is like a reddish with a little bit of orange in there. I think the orange is mainly from the wood burning, but it does have a reddish hue to it, especially like where it's not been burnt yet. You can kind of see Yeah, it. you were yeah. burning off the lithium, yeah. That is really so, cool. That is like super red. So, all right, so now we're going into strontium chloride. strontium chloride. I don't know what strontium is. Is there anything strontium's in? I'm really confused. No. Out of all the metals I know of, I don't know a metal called strontium. So, uh, you can find strontium on the periodic table. I'm Other assuming. Than that, I do, not know <laughs> I do not know. Off the top of it's my head. It's an element. Robbie, you know what strontium's made out of? Or what strontium's in? Robbie has no idea. So, what are your <laughs> predictions on this one? Um, green. We okay. have green I'll go, go back to purple, yeah. So. I'm just going green because I haven't seen green yet. Another oh. reddish. That's a bright red, though. Yeah. Like a... Orange is bright red, like a, a almost a wood color. I mean wood. Almost a brick look, looking color. So this is more of like a reddish orange color, I think. Um, That's really cool. The lithium is a little bit more red huh. overall. But, um... Huh. Yeah. All right. Very cool. We're keeping it down. All right. This is the next one is calcium chloride. Yes. I know what calcium is. What is calcium? Uh, it's the stuff in milk, right? That, you're not wrong. <laughs> builds strong bones. Yeah. It builds strong bones. So I can drink this. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, green again. I'm going with green until I see green. Pink. So we have green and pink. All right, this is a yellow red mix. This is like a more yellow, it looks like, than the other one was. Yeah. Maybe a little bit darker orange. Yeah. yeah. Got some of that more of a muted orange. Yeah. Huh. All right. Yeah, we're not getting it too smoky. I'm happy about that. <laughs> this is barium. So this one, out of all of them, had the most warning labels on it whenever okay. I picked it up. Okay. Then we were going to save this for last. Yeah. So <laughs> had the most I labels. enjoy the warning labels. So this one is cupric chloride or copper chloride? Copper chloride, okay. Because I, I, I look, man, me and you have atrocious handwriting, apparently. I thought that said uh, Cupid, like the, the, the guy who, you know, shoots you with a love arrow. And I was like, okay, this is a very, very blue liquid. Yeah. So I am going unashamedly blue. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick with purple because we haven't seen it yet and I'm hoping for it. Green. Whoa. Wow. That is like super green too. That is very cool, man. That's like bluish green. It? Yeah, it's, it's like an aqua, a teal. Huh. That's legit. It looks like it's got some blue mixed in too towards the end of it. That was that was super cool. Okay, so this is the one with all the warning labels. This is the barium. Barium chloride. Mm -hmm. I don't know what anything about barium. Uh, that's two elements I have no idea about so far. All right, final attempt at purple. Well, this is interesting. If you look at the wood, the where it soaked it up at, definitely it's. It is definitely wet. Not just that; it's done something to the wood. You can see it. Y'all can't see it, but like the oh, line, like you the can see it. Line. Yeah, the chemical look like almost because like a chemical, colored line. chemical burn. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Make fun of the man with a disability, will you? <laughs> You're talking to the diabetic. Okay, true. <laughs> That's true. So, um, I'm going to go with 
blue. No. I don't know what I did. Red. So we have purple and red. So Like awesome. red, red. What? Is that green? That's, That's like, like a yellowish, yellowish green. Color. Yeah. Huh. Huh. That's pretty cool. It's like a sunlight yellow. Yeah. That is interesting. Huh. So definitely many different colors. Um, and did not expect some of the colors. Uh, there are different, there's many different metals that you can do with this too. It's not just one. Um, and uh, uh, like he said, there's kits for this. I normally like to take my gloves off after we fiddle with this. My hands sweat a lot. I mean, as you can tell. Um, but we encourage you, be safe. Make sure you're in a good ventilated area. Don't play around with the uh, chemicals as you do it. Um, if you don't have a blowtorch, you know, be safe with whatever you do have. And uh, as we did, make sure you have somewhere you can put out the fires after you do them. Um, I did not. Yeah, see, they're all, it's all burnt sticks in there. Um, but make sure you're reading the warning labels. Uh, this is the second experiment we've had fun with doing with different chemicals, but we're learning more and more as we do them that there are protocols and there are procedures. So make sure you're very following all those things. That very important. Very important. But, uh, but that always comes down to the main question, what does this have to do with the Bible? And Justin? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So part one of that uh, for me. So scripture talks oftentimes about God being an all-consuming fire. It also talks about different things concerning uh, how that he, it uses the metaphor of him being the refiner who uses fire to refine us. And so one thing that I was thinking about uh, with this experiment was that aspect of God using those moments in our lives where we're walking with him to bring out those things that on my side, Pastor Eddie will talk about a different side, but on my side, those things that are like not supposed to be in our lives. So uh, for example, I did research last night on uh, the refining process for gold and different types of elements like that, which is actually very interesting. If you've never done it, I encourage you to Google, uh, it's called uh, fire assay, which is A-S-S-A-Y. It is like the standard method okay. for how that they refine gold. And what that means is they will put it in a, uh, a type of holder and then put it in fire. And they have specific, just like we had specific elements that we used to create different uh, fire light and that kind of stuff. They will use specific elements with the gold that has impurities in it to bring those impurities out and to extract the pure gold. And so that's kind of what God does in our lives too. Like he puts different ingredients in our lives. He puts different situations in our lives. And sometimes I know from my experience, I've even had moments where it's not that something external necessarily was happening, but I was just walking with the Lord and he was bringing things up in my heart that I didn't even know were there. And he was pointing them out and saying, hey, this needs to go. Like this needs to be done away with. That's not how I think about you, that's not how I want you to think about people, you know, et cetera. And uh, so, but just talking and thinking about that part of how that God is a refiner and in parts of our lives, he metaphorically uh, puts us in the furnace so that he can draw out those things that are not supposed to be in our lives. And also, Pastor Eddie has some more thoughts on that process. So, um we sat these things in, in liquid for uh, not quite 24 hours, about 24 hours or so. Um, so they were wood mixed with something else. The wood absorbed those materials. Um, but the fire brought out the, the, the chemicals. So we could have let all these sit in the liquid, then set them out and let them dry and still burn them. And they would have still had different colors than just a regular old piece of wood. What does that look like? Well, in your life, you have influences and things that go on. You have uh, situations that you soak up the, the, the environment around you and the things like that. And when the fire is put to you, it'll show who you truly are. In our lives, integrity is key. Being a follower of Christ is more than just by saying, hey, I said a prayer in church. It's about you actually living out that life, even when no one's looking whatsoever. So as you go through the process of being purified, as uh, Justin was saying, my side of the thought is this. 
Guys, you will go through the fire sooner or later in your life. You will go through the squeeze sooner or later in your life. And what comes out of you is truly who you are. So make sure you're putting things into you that, that, that is pure and that is holy and that is godly. You let, make sure you're letting your mind be completely reformed and, and, and uh, uh, um, reconstructed through the gospel and through the Holy Spirit. Let God completely give you new life from the, from the ground up or from the inside out because that is what's going to mo mostly be important when it comes down to the refining fire, when God purifies and takes things out of you that shouldn't be there, it's because that he's trying to make you a better version of you. I, I said to Justin earlier when we were talking about all this, you can write mustard on a bottle all day long, but if when you squeeze it, ketchup comes out, that's a ketchup bottle. So guys, in your life, you can say you're this, you can believe, but when you're squeezed, what comes out of you? Who are you? When the flame gets put to you, what colors do you produce? Because that shows what you're really made out of deep down more in a layer. And we encourage you, use the word of God. Surround yourself with people. Make sure you're absorbing the right things. So when the fire does come or when the squeeze does happen, you're actually producing the things that you should be producing as a follower of Christ. Because it's going to happen. We're told that those things build our faith. We're told us those things, we're, we're, we're promised that we will go through trials and tribulations, that we'll go through times that'll be difficult, we'll go through processes that sometimes may not be the funnest, but it's, it's to better us. And when those things come, it's really important to have a good foundation of who God is already saying that you are, so when you move forward in your life, you can continue living that out. Um, with that being said, Justin, if you will, man, pray for us real quick before we close out. So. Sure thing. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for another object lesson video. Just an interesting experiment with flame and different elements to, see, to be able to see the different colors that come out of that. Thank you for uh, just being able to take that and share a little bit more about your word and different aspects of God. You being the, the refiner, you being the one that, uh, like Pastor Eddie said, puts us in the fire sometimes. And it's not because you have any ill will towards us, but it's because... For example, one thing I read about the uh, refining process of gold is it t it's such a skilled process that any different thing that's not perfectly aligned, any element that's added that's not needed could mess up the process. But God, thank you that you are that skilled worker, that you're the perfect worker uh, when it comes to things in our lives and things in our hearts that you see that need to be worked out. And uh, maybe we don't even know about them. But you know exactly what is needed, what ingredients, what temperature, uh, uh, so to speak, that is needed in our lives to bring out that fullness that uh, Pastor Eddie was talking about that you have for us. And so, God, thank you for this video again. Thank you for everybody watching. Lord, let us take these lessons to heart and apply them to our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we want to thank Bruce again. Thank you so much, sir, for coming out here. Thank you. Um, and uh, we hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I love fire, so I love burning sticks, and I love seeing different colors. Um, but with all that being said, guys, if no one else has told you, let us be the ones that tell you. We love you, we believe in you, and we believe God has a great plan for your life. God bless. Mm -hmm.